This week on Target TV, we have a new segment which allows us to travel through time and space. Like, hey, let's go to New York. Yeah, let's go to a Broadway show. Hey, taxi. Or maybe Hawaii. Mukilaki Hiki. Come on, watch Tiger TV. Or let's go to Texas. Howdy, y'all. Let's rope some Broncos. Or magically being whisked away to Delaware. Uh, hey, I'm in Delaware. I'm Jack Molino and I'm the head play-by-play -play commentator and alongside Charlie Kirby, he's the uh, color commentator. And then there's two other people that are part of our team. Griffin Knowles, the head statistician, and Chris Stams on the computer. So me, Jack, Chris, and Griffin signed up for, uh, what was the first game? The Glenbard North. Glenbard North home game back uh, 2016. And at, I don't know, kind of at the end of the game, Mr. Booker came up to us and said, like, guys, that was, that was really good compared to what we usually have. Do you want to keep doing them? And, we just decided to, you know, sure, why not? I played in the basketball program at South for three years and then a lot of youth basketball before. Charlie played one year of South played basketball? played one year of South basketball and two years of middle school, but I just kind of picked it up and in and out. Yeah, so that like, definitely helps us. Like, we know Mr. Healy is a coach. We know the South basketball program. So we know what's going on during the broadcast. Yeah, so what we'll, what we'll do is, well, Charlie Kirby has a whole metaphor list of figurative language, and he has that list ready to go. The ball movement is staying fast for the Tigers. Definitely a key. They want to be smoother than George Clooney in Ocean's Eleven, just sliding through gaps and finding ways to hit the rim. But uh, a big aspect of our broadcast are the stats. And so we'll get stats from Mr. Press, uh, the assistant coach. We'll get stats from the Daily Herald. We'll get stats from, uh, actually during the game, Griffin does the stats on the iPad. So that's a huge part of our broadcast. And then another part of the broadcast is knowing the rosters of the other team. And we get a scouting report from Mr. Press, and that allows us to know who's on the other team, who are the good players, and stuff like that. Like a bad valet, their point guard took control of that possession, then crashed the car and lost the keys. Just a complete disaster. Parker Robinson on the wing to Drew Healy. Open three again to go up 12-0. Bang! What's the highest number we've ever... Like 120. 120 accounts, right? Yeah. So it, it could be anywhere. It could be above 200 people watching one of these broadcasts. And that was... Our first broadcast had like five accounts logged on, but we've kind of been building up a following as we put in more work to better the broadcast. I would just hope that it continues next year in the future that we find a new group of guys who is committed to, to putting some work in to make these things worth watching. We, we know all the guys on the team and we know yeah. a lot of the ways that the team works, so we kind of give fans an inside look on how Coach Healy runs the team. Uh, that's a really good question because we talked about that before. I think we would. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if we'd be that into it. Like, I'm not sure if we'd be going down to Bloomington, Illinois, or B-Town, if you want to call it, <laughs> if uh, the team wasn't doing that well. But for sure, because they're doing so well, we definitely really get into it. Because it's just so exciting to watch a team try to get, you know, 25 wins in a regular season, which has never been done in school's history. And it's Ruggles at the post. Ruggles working on Gal, gets it out to Chase. Drew's got it at the three-point line. Three seconds, Jake for three. Unbelievable, Tigers nine for 13, 12 from the three-point line. Away games, we don't know how wide the bleachers are gonna be, so we need to figure out how we're gonna get a table. So I spent about a night working on it, and I ended up taking wine racks out of my parents' basement, 
and kind of jerry-rigged them up with duct tape and then took a like a two by four and just ran it across to make essentially a makeshift table that once we get there we put down the wine racks as like legs put the two by four across it and tape the whole thing up so it doesn't move um it's it's quite the little setup for away games there's not anyone that is set to do it for next year and so if anyone's up for like an apprenticeship or anything we'd be more than willing to like mentor you guys and because especially it's with the broadcast being a big hit this year i think pe people may be expecting for a broadcast team next year so if anyone wants to come out you can contact us or mr Baraka, and we'd be more than willing to help you guys Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Bear Grylls. You're probably wondering why I'm in the suburbs of Wheaton. That makes two of us. Let's go. I'm Bear Grylls. For 80 years now, I've been surviving in hazardous conditions of the wild, often only skimming by with my life. I learned from my father from a very young age how to survive, and now I'm going to teach all of you. I've been caught up in the Sahara Desert, knee deep in the Amazon, and sky high in the Alps. I'm going to show you how to get water, food, and shelter in that exact order. This is Man vs. Wild. Well, unfortunately, since the lake is frozen over, we've got to find a new supply of water. I think the best way to do that is probably to look it down. Keep your distance. It's that right there. It's a pineapple. Wild pineapple. Pineapples, about 40% water. That's how I'm gonna get my water and survive these hazardous conditions. Let's go. It actually tastes quite, uh, quite good. Alright, so now that we've been hydrated, we need to find something to eat. And with all the bodies of water around us, I think the best bet would be to find a fish. Yeah, there's fish in here, alright. We just need some bait to catch them. Oh, look! Worms. Not only can we use these for bait, but we can also eat these. Worms have more protein per gram than beef. <laughs> the key to fishing is patient. Oh, I got a bite! This is an ice fish. Very high in protein and omega-3 fatty acids, and as well as vitamin D, this is sufficient food. You can eat this fish raw. It's actually better for you if you do, because you're not cooking out all those great nutrients. Yeah, well, long story short, um, I had a really bad gambling problem, got into some uh, deep water with uh, the wrong people, <laughs> and uh, I, uh, the people who dropped me off aren't, aren't even part of the show. Uh, uh, bear, bear, we're, we're recording. Oh. 
with night falling, we need to find shelter. And uh, we're having a bit of trouble due to a lack of resources to build one. But what we can do is kill an animal and hide in it like Han Solo. Observe. Look at that. It's a wild gazelle. Observe as the creature majestic. Oh, oh my god! Never get my bow! I demolished the beast, the majestic beast. Now we have somewhere to sleep for the night. Gotta stay nice and cozy. I'm Bear Grylls. Thanks for tuning in. Are you ready, guys? Go. One, two, three, four. They'll never find me here. What the heck? About that. And then she was like, who do you think you are? I think I'm Alyssa, who do you think you are? And then she was like, and I'm like, how about you catch me outside, how about that? Wow, really? Yeah. Girl. You know that's not how it went. You know she said your name one time and you ran away crying. Cry baby looking so. Lying so. Trying to be cool, saying old memes looking so. But we still friends though. Hey guys, I need to talk to you about something. Yeah, what's wrong? My grandma called the other day and she asked me if I had dinner. I told her no and then she got mad. And then she hung up the phone and started running as fast as she could to my house with lasagna. But she forgot that she had her high heels on and she slipped on some black ice. And she went to the hospital and I haven't heard anything since. Are you serious? <laughs> That's not funny. I'm sorry, why would your grandma be running in some high heels knowing it's cold outside? Maybe she's a savage. If you know how I feel, why would you say that? I'm done.
He's taking this relationship to the next level. Our relationship is growing. He goes back to the net, and we all saw this coming. He will propose. This is just getting weird. And it said yes. Hopefully it all works out. I'm not sure that's legal in Donald Trump's America. Reacting as a squirrel has run onto the field and now headed for the Royals dugout. They don't want any part of it. It's, it's black. They make announcements before every game. If you run on the field in the middle of the game, you are going to be arrested and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Picked right back. And goodbye, touchdown, Marquise Knowlton. What a huge play for the Tiger Cats, who are now inside the boat in the end zone. They're fishing. They're in the boat. They're water skiing. They're wakeboarding. There is showboating right there. Professionally in Japan, current Tigers color commentator Rod Allen went on an epic chase after a pitcher who drilled him in the back. I like the pitcher. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Go away. Rams at the Seal. Johnny Hecker, punter here. Check him out. Boots it going down the field. Now he blindsides Cliff Haber. Now he's trying to act like a football player. Watch Cliff come in. Oh! He cowers out a little bit. He punts again later in the game. The Fable says, Boots to him. Boots to him. Michael Bennett. Right he cowers down to the ground. Now, you know, I'm telling him I'm kickers compared to the football play. Please leave me alone. I really did. Yeah, I did. 